Well, there it is, guys. The infamous 205 transfer case. This thing was filthy. I don't know how many times I had to degrease this thing to, to get it this clean, but uh, it's like Chevy Orange which I don't know if they're originally supposed to be that way or not. Looks like there might be a factory marking right here and that is on top of some orange paint but some of this orange paint was painted over uh, grease. You can see there's overspray on this aluminum cover. Uh, the factory wouldn't do that I wouldn't think. Uh, maybe these are supposed to be orange, maybe they're not. I think I'm just gonna go with a cast gray. Just give it a quick coat of paint. I'd like to tear this thing apart, put new bearings in it. Uh, it seemed to drive okay. I never did put the truck in four wheel drive. So I think we're just gonna put this thing while I'm gonna paint it. Well first I cleaned it up, then I, I'm gonna shoot it with some paint here. And then uh, I'm gonna put it back in. Um, I don't even plan on putting this thing in four wheel drive. Uh, it, it ran in two-wheel drive just fine, so we're going to go with it. Uh, these are gear-driven transfer cases. That's why all the off-roaders love them. They're super tough. Uh, as long as you keep oil in them, they, you really shouldn't, really shouldn't be able to destroy these things on the street. So it looks like somebody's been in this. They've been in there. They had some... Uh, silicone it looked like clear silicone I I don't know why it would be clear but hopefully they didn't use like uh, bathroom silicone maybe maybe that's why it's so dang greasy I don't know I guess I'll find out I'll run it it's clean now I'll know what seals are leaking and what aren't uh, maybe this winter we'll uh, pull it off go through it because the motor and trans are brand new so we'll we'll see I'm gonna get a coat of paint on this thing one last uh, wash down and she's gonna get some paint so when I come back she'll be all painted up okay so there it is in uh, a cast iron uh, gray color. Gives it kind of the illusion that it's really not painted. Whether or not it's supposed to be orange originally, I don't really know. Uh, if it does have to be orange originally, um, if I do take this out sometime and redo it, I guess I'll go back to the original color, but for now, I didn't want it to stick out because you kind of, if you look under the truck, you can kind of see this. And I didn't want a gaudy orange thing under the frame because um, it would have been pretty bright repainting it. I suppose I could have left it alone, but yeah, I did. If, if you know, I didn't want it to look, I don't know, over customized or whatever. But this will kind of blend in. I'm happy with it, but. I've got another issue I found um, that I'm going to have to address here. Okay, so here is the original bolt that holds the shifter for the transfer case. Um, it, it goes in here and you can see it's a, like a shoulder bolt where this bolt tightens up but it doesn't tighten up the shifter so you can actually still move the shifter and shift gears. Well, this is the threads, uh, the other it's, 
This thing's trying to, uh, there it is. This is the threads for the original adapter. Well, this is the threads for the adapter that I have now. And you can see it's not going to work. So uh, what I ended up doing was I kind of made me a little bushing in there. You can see, you see I made me a little bushing that I just pounded into there. And the bolt, the new bolt here, fits in there uh, pretty snug. So, should, uh, should work out. What's going to end up happening is it's going to spin on that bushing there, but I don't see this getting wore out as much as it's going to be shifted into four wheel drive, which is rarely. So yeah, this is, these are all the little problems that really slow, slow you down when you're trying to do something like this. You think, you know, oh, I'm just going to use the original hardware. It's going to bolt right up and I'm going to be done with it. Nope. You got to go through, you got to make all kinds of custom stuff. So I'm going to uh, get that bolted in the, in the, well, it's not in the truck. It's on the uh, transfer case adapter. One other, one other thing I got to show you on that transfer case adapter. Okay, so we're up under the truck here and I wanted to show you that transfer case adapter. There's the, the, the threads to hold the shifter and I don't know if you can see that, but they're way bigger than the, the four speed to the NP205. I don't know why they would be different, but apparently there's something different. But anyway, I wanted to show you there's a seal right here. See that seal? That's that seal. I didn't know where it went. Um, it's 50, 5304. I don't really know what that uh, seal is right there. But yeah, I'm going to clean this up and get her in there. It's actually, it goes on this spline adapter. And I didn't really think about it, but there's automatic fluid in the transmission and there's going to be gear oil in this uh, gear driven transfer case. And I never even thought about the oil from the transfer case going, uh, seeping out through this spline adapter, but I'm sure it's not, you know, it's, it's not tight enough to keep fluid from going through that. Um, it's probably not likely that's going to happen but there's a seal they got a seal here so to make sure it doesn't happen which i never really even thought of uh luckily a guy uh, said something in the comment section uh, about this seal here so when you get that seal with your uh, spline adapter yeah it goes on the transfer case side uh, to keep the the fluids separate so i've got that installed and really uh once I get that shifter bolted on there, uh, this thing's going to be ready to come up, you know, get bolted up here. I think I'm going to make a little jig so I can uh, easily just jack this thing up, slide it on. And then if it, I do ever have to take it off, I can put my jig on my transmission jack, pull the, the transfer case off relatively easily. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. Well, there it is, guys, back installed. Um, I forgot to show a shot of this thing on our transmission jack. And then it kind of slid in so easily that I got uh, carried away and got her all installed. I got a new gasket in there. I did use RTV on both sides. Um, use some nice uh, grade 8 bolts. There is eight of them. I mean, they're not that easily um, accessible. I mean, not, not the, the best design GM ever made, but hopefully I don't got to keep taking this thing on and off. 
Um, you can see my nice bolts that I used. Another oh, transmission jack. I thought I was going to have to make like a little jig uh, to hold it on, but really all I needed to do was put some towels down so I didn't scratch it up. Put an angle on it like that so I could uh, hold it straight so I could get the, all the bolts lined up, but it worked out real well. Imagine that, a, a transmission jack uh, does exactly what uh, it's supposed to do. But anyway guys, I guess that's a, that's a wrap on this one. I guess give you a shot of these, or this mount. Got some bolts, same bolts, same grade 8 bolts there. Uh, there's that mount all together. Um, I got a new uh, mounting uh, bushings, or whatever you call them. Grade 8 hardware holding everything together. So, yeah, it's uh, pretty much in there. Shifter's in there. Everything, uh, everything's ready to go, guys. Could actually put the, could put dry shafts. I gotta clean up them yokes. But it's actually ready for dry shafts. Once they get the dry shafts in, you can see I've, I'm testing the, uh, Test fitting exhaust right now. I was just wondering how tight it was going to be over here. It's pretty tight. Then I got a stupid fuel line here that's going to be in my way, but it's going to be doable. But I guess uh, it's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed it, and I'll see you.